Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, I'm gonna to get to do what I have wanted to do for a very long time. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side test with a dry-aged deer and an ice-aged deer. I was able to get two deer in a row, two evenings in a row, so this is going to come together beautifully. I'm not gonna have one that's aged for a week and one that's aged two weeks and have to deal with all the controversy. This deer, is going to be ice aged. I killed another deer the, very, the night before I killed this one. That's going to be dry aged. My neighbor has a walk-in cooler and that has afforded me this opportunity and I am very grateful for that. So I'm going to get this deer skinned. I'm not going to skin it on YouTube because the jokers will demonetize this video. If I had my way, I would skin an animal of some type on a video every day for you. But YouTube hates me for that. And so we're going to get this thing on this ice. As soon as I get it cut up, I'm gonna show you how I layer it. I'm gonna show you the ice, the meat, the whole nine yards. And then we're gonna age this deer for around two weeks. Whatever works out with my schedule. But I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna hopefully find somebody that's unbiased or somebody that at least knows how to taste meat and try it out and see which one they think is the best. Let's get with it. All right, before I start skinning this deer, I want to show you right here. My neighbors gave me the knife. It came in a nylon sheath. Super nice knife. The nylon sheath didn't last all that long. I took the knife to a buddy of mine up in Muddy Pond, and he made me an absolute gorgeous leather, beautiful black leather knife sheath. Here's his information. If you live in the area around Muddy Pond and you've got any kind of thing that you want leather, the guy does leather like you wouldn't believe. And he absolutely knocked this out. While I waited, I didn't have to wait for two weeks, three weeks. He did it while I was standing right there watching him. He did an awesome job. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, 20 pounds of ice at the bottom of this big chest right here. All right, as you see, I've got her skin, skin down. I try to leave as much fat and as much silver skin on at this point as possible because that's gonna protect your meat from anything. I mean, literally, you could drop it in the dirt, which I'm not gonna do, I don't want it dirty. But when you cut that silver skin off, you're gonna be getting rid of everything. Anything that could have got on that meat, you don't have to worry about it. Now I showed you the charade sharp finger that my neighbor gave me. That, for the money, is the best knife on the, in the world for skinning these deer, for the money. And I've got them in the descriptions. A link to Amazon, you get them for the money. This here, my friends, is the Victorinox. And I'm telling you what, for cutting this deer up like I'm fixing to do, this is the ticket. I've got that in the description for you as well. Right on that ice, we're gonna put both front shoulders in first. They fit like a hand in a glove right there. On the other end, and over part of those shoulders, we're going to put both sets of ribs. And over that, we're gonna pour another bag of ice. If you've got a nice long ice chest, you can put the entire back and neck in the ice, just like that. And right in there, hind quarter. I'm gonna turn it around like this. We can fit the other one. Right there, just like this. We got three more bags, 60 pounds of ice put over that. And then you wait. <laughs> All right, this meat has been aging on ice for two weeks. That means the meat that's hanging up in the dry age facility is also two weeks minus 24 hours, so basically exactly the same for all practical purposes. I wanted this test to be side by side. Let's get, all right. We're gonna have a pretty little, good little crowd eating tonight. So I'm gonna take all of this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off as well. All right, at this point, we're just going to Take our steaks and we're going to fillet them off of this real tough membrane 
it's easy to do if you go in the middle and just fillet it off like this right here. Very easy. And what you're left with is just some stuff needs to be trimmed off. Take care of that real easy. My bowl is just sliding all over the place because it's so icy. I'm going to trim off some of this membrane here. We have quite a bit of it running along its edge. What you want to do, if you're going for a nice steak, you don't want that stuff that's chewy in there because it ruins the entire experience, especially if you're making a video and you got honest people trying it out. And that's what we've got tonight. I've got some taste testers gonna be trying these out on a blind taste test. They're not gonna know whether it's dry aged or wet aged. They're gonna taste them side by side. They're gonna tell us what they think. Ah, what do you think about that? These guys have never taste tested on my channel before. These aren't my kids that you're already suspicious they like everything in the world. And maybe they do. These guys that are tasting these today are going to be honest with you. 100% honest. Let's lay this side off. Move that over. All right, now we're going to slice our steaks. That's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to make them pretty decent sized steaks. This is what I would consider a three quarter inch cut. And you talk about tender. This knife here, it is sharp. It is a Victorinox, but look here. Just straight down, dead on, I mean, beautiful steaks. So Longbow Banjo gave me this knife. He runs a deer processing operation. So he knows what works good for him. And he knew I was gonna love this knife. I've got them in the descriptions of this video. If you want to try one out, I've not had anybody that didn't believe it was about the best knife they ever tried in their life. So you get one, try it out, and I, I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. I guarantee it. That's one back strap. That's half of the back of a deer. So I'm gonna do this one real quick, get this backed up. I'm gonna go over to the neighbors and we're gonna take one off of the hanging carcass from the dry aged one. You're gonna see it's quite a bit different because it's dry. This here is almost like it was when it came off of the deer, still fresh, even though it's aged. And in a lot of ways, I really like that. But let's get over there right now and let's do that. on the left, dry age on the right. You can see the difference. All right, this is gonna be cooked all day long in a sous vide, just holding it at an even 134 degrees. Then this evening, when it comes time to eat, they're all gonna be identical. The wet age, the dry age, they'll all be identical, and then we'll sear them off and throw some seasoning on it, and then we're gonna let the boys try them out and see how they like them. But before we put them in the sous vide, we're just gonna sprinkle some salt on it so all day long this salt can be working back and forth through that meat. We want this meat to taste good. We don't wanna cover the taste because we want the boys to know what they're tasting. We want it to be obvious, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna flip them all over and sprinkle the other side. Nine and a quarter hours later. Okay. We're not gonna say which is which because there's people around here that's gonna hear. But this one is what we're gonna call number one. 
This one is what we're gonna call number two. And we're just gonna grill these very simply with just a little salt, a little pepper, and a little garlic powder. Oh, that's pretty. Jesse, this here is number one. And this is number two. I'm guessing you're not gonna tell me what they are. I will, I will. Are you okay with a little granulated garlic? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you allowed to do a video without camp dogs? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Now these guys right here. This is Adam, he's my neighbor. This is Jesse, he's my brother-in-law. I don't want y'all to hold that against him because he's my brother-in-law. He's cutting on thing one. Adam cut on thing two. And now he's cutting on thing two. So what I want y'all to do, guys, is taste them. See if you can taste the difference between wet age and dry age. See if they do have a difference, which one you like the best. So that's all I care about right now. Just... <laughs> Very simple, very simple. That's why we seasoned it simply. Just salt, pepper, a little garlic powder. He was fancy and used a fork. How did, oh, I see that, yeah. Can you taste a difference between the two meats? That one is definitely more tender. That one's more tender. To me okay. anyway, a lot more mm -hmm. tender. Is yeah. it different flavored? You can try another piece. Well, I, I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. We'll allow that I mean, for it sure. I mean, it's delicious, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mama, me wanna eat all this mac and cheese. They're both back straps, so they should be very, and they were aged the same time, so they should be pretty comparable. We have other steaks cooking here. You guys are right in the middle of the smoke, you know that? That one tastes a lot better to me as well. Yeah, that one tastes a lot better. Wow. <laughs> so y'all like number two better? Yeah. Yep. Which well, one is it? I'll tell you someday. <laughs> you gonna go vote in the comments? Let us know what you Yeah, vote in the comments. Let us know. And thing two was dry aged. Thing one was wet aged. Y'all were very clear on that. No no him hawing around the bush. No, I it think was, it's quite easy. Yeah. More tender, I think it was juicier and had a, a little deeper flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, stronger flavor. Yeah. Of all things. So there we go. Looks like that cooler's paying off. Looks that that cooler's <laughs> paying off. There you go, folks. That is the taste test that I've been wanting to do all these years. Miss Grace is fixing to have a whole plate full of it. Oh. Or at least she asked for some. Yes. But I want to thank these guys for being so willing to eat steak. That, that was a real sacrifice on their part. I hand-picked, I hand-selected the best steak tasters that I knew. <laughs> oh, so now... Everybody's going to jump on me because I've been pushing Ice Agent on my channel for years, but Adam has come into my life with a big old walk-in cooler and I can't turn that down. And now I feel even better about that. So you guys are going to be seeing more deer meat videos soon. But for now, that's all we've got for you. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye -bye. <laughs>